Hello guys, karibuni sana to Doreen House Team Channel where you get to learn more about life skills, motivation and relationships. If this is the first time you're tuning to my channel, thank you so much for finding time to be with me. Please remember to subscribe. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for the love and support you've shown me so far. It's my hope that you're doing great wherever you are. In today's video, I'm talking about something very interesting. Girls to avoid. Are there girls that you're supposed to avoid? Or are there girls you shouldn't avoid? Stay tuned. Let's know the kind of girls that you're supposed to avoid. Or the kind of girls you shouldn't avoid. You know, getting the right woman to get married to if you talk to any man they'll tell you it is an uphill task this is because most of the women are very beautiful and very attractive in appearance but sometimes the personality or the characteristics differs from this and men it's the it's the hope and the wish of the man to get the right woman because if you get the right woman, you're likely to avoid stress, separation, breakup, divorce, maybe in the long run. And it's the prayer of every man to get a homemaker, a home man to, to be with him, to support him, and to be there for him every time he needs a support so today i'm going to talk about the kind of woman or the kind of ladies or girls that you're supposed to avoid as a man when you're looking for the right woman to get married to the girls you shouldn't avoid number one the lazy girls the lazy girls are not self-motivated they don't like working so most of the time they want to sit down and be behind them doing nothing and if you leave them in your house you realize they don't like doing anything in that house so if you ask them they would maybe tell you to get someone to do the work for you so this one should tell you something that uh, if you get married to this kind of a girl and they happen to get a job it means it will be difficult for them to run the house and a job at the same time so according to me these are kind of the girls you need to avoid number two self-centered girls these kind of girls will never think about you they are always thinking about themselves. So everything is about them. So everything you do should be about them. And everything that you're supposed to do should be something that will make them happy. So these kind of girls will never get worried about how you feel. They will never maybe even think of whether you're broke or not as long as they are happy. So for me, you need to avoid those kind of girls. Number three, the materialistic girls. These kind of girls are moved by the material things and most of the time they'll keep asking questions on the maybe cars that you own, the worth of the watch that you are wearing, the kind of a house you live in. So you realize most of the time they may also want you to keep on spending money on them, buying them gifts and uh, presents and if you don't do they keep on complaining that you didn't maybe buy them anything so this kind of girls you're supposed to avoid them because it shows you clearly that they don't love you for who you are but they love you for your money so if you don't have the money or something happens in future then and you don't have money then it means you're going to lose that girl Number four, a girl who wants to keep in touch with her ex-boyfriend. You need to avoid this kind of a girl because it shows clearly if they're in touch with the ex-boyfriend, it means they still 
feel something for the hex and therefore making this girl to fall in love you completely may be something next to impossible. So you need to avoid this girl at all costs. Number five, demanding girls. So you need to avoid these kind of girls because they will never get satisfied with what you get them. Every time they want more, they want you to keep on spending your money on them and they will never get satisfied or appreciate even the efforts you are showing towards them. Number six, the drama queens. These kind of girls will have one problem after the other. So if you get married to these kind of girls, it means every day you'll be solving a problem, one after the other, and most of the time these kind of girls never hone to their mistakes. So they see you as the problem. To them, they are not the problem. So those are some of the girls that you're supposed to avoid at all costs. Thank you so much for watching this video.